Psalms 138. I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will sing praises to you before the creators. Okay, good hint that, 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 that this is not an Israeli writing this. Before the other creators? I don't think so. I will bow down. I guess it's maybe God, or maybe that's the word that they have here. Yeah, it was before the gods, not creators, but gods. Um, I will bow down towards your holy house. Your, not holy house, but your house. And it's actually house for meeting with our creator. And give thanks to you. For your love and truth. For you have magnified us. For you have magnified us according to your words. That's a very long verse. For your love and truth, you magnified, magnified us, magnified, um, strengthen, I would say, um, great, greater, greater, become rich. Greatly done, exalted. Magnified is used 21 times for this word, but there's so many words here that mean great. You... You enlarged, I guess I could say that. What is that? No. You exalted us, I guess. You exalted us according to your words. On the day you called, on the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold. bold. With strength in my heart. I don't know how you people can read these things and understand them as truthful. Um, do you know what his soul is? I mean, it's just that simple. All the kings on earth will give you thanks. Give all the kings, oh, all the kings 
on earth. All the kings on earth will give thanks to you. Why they, when they have heard the promise from I would have to put from you when they hear when they hear when they hear because this is going to be something like that and they will sing of you yes it would be have to be you here trying to put it as the first writer would write so the great for great is the glory oh I was wrong spot and then they will say actually then they will praise Then they will praise you, for great is for through why the ex is exalted, yet he regards the lowly and the haughty he knows. No, it's not from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you relieve, you revive me. You revive me. Boy. I want to put stretch by stretching forth his hand. You will, re, you will redeem me. Because if all the kings are going to hear, you will redeem me. against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand will save me you will accomplish what concerns me your love why be is after last everlasting do not forsake the work of your hands do not forsake hmm I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will sing praises to you and bow down
I will praise you and bow down toward your house. Now this would be someone who's far away in captivity as according to the petitions that uh, Solomon made to our creator when the house was finished. Uh, they talk about captives that when they want to seek him from afar to bow down towards his house. Here is thanks, here is thanks. So this is almost like a double. So this, this might come out. So for your love and truth. You exalted us according to your words. On the day I... Now that's separate. Your love and truth. You exalted us according to your words. You made us bold with strength in our hearts. This, because I'm trying to figure out why the kings are gonna, we're gonna worship or give thanks according to your promise. That's why they have to, the word promise has to go here. According to your promises, I guess, yes. You made me bold with strength in my heart. The kings, the kings on earth will give you thanks when they hear a promise from you. I guess words is better here. Because that's the promise coming out of um, Egypt. Uh, according to your words, that's how they were exalted to uh, their own land. You made me bold, strengthen my heart. Well, with your love and with your love and truth, you exalted us. I'm seeing this. Now I'm seeing according to your words, you made me bold. You made me bold to strengthen your heart. This is out. Well, with your love and truth, you exalted us. According to your words, it would almost have to be you strengthened us. You strengthened their hearts, our hearts. I'm going to have to see this when it gets cleaned up, but. This would be like now when, okay, when's down here. All the kings on earth will give thanks to Wivy when they hear, hear the promise from you. And that's of Jesus being the king to allow us into heaven, anyone on earth. Then they will praise you for great 
Is all my views exalted? Okay. For through wifey. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to divide it, and it's almost like this is dividing because these two are definitely separate from this, yet now this is now changing it here guys the lowly, not lowly, the humble Because lowly could mean uh, you're the raider, you're a thief. <laughs> so I can't have the word lowly there. The word humble. Um, let's see. Hey, they had the word humble three times. Ta da! Um, yeah. And the lowly five, six times would humble only three times. Okay. And he regards the humble. And the haughty doesn't know he hates them. Oh boy. Many dimensions. Um, but the haughty he hates. What is haughty? Um, yes. Well, high. Officials, proud, taller. Uh, if it's humble, it's lowly, then haughty would be the proud. And they did use that word proud. The proud he knows of. You. Then they will praise you. For great is their glory in you. Yeah, I would have to put that. Their glory. Great is their glory in you. I would have to put the word in. I'm trying to think of a better word right now. But as you know, the word glory means that you're able to speak about our Creator. First you have to have righteousness. And then when you speak of um, to other people about our Creator, that is your glory. Okay? For great is their glory in you, through YV, they are exalted. They are, and I would have a hard time, uh, through YV, they how, how would I Try to say this. Lift it up. <coughs> Exalted maybe 30 times, but lifted up 40. And then the word lifted up would mean to. Um, 
maybe ascend into heaven. Um, Well, not the word yet. He rides the humble hills. Oh, I have to put the word his. But the proud, but the proud, he knows are not his. Okay, now, um, you might not like me changing that, but it doesn't, how do you go from nose to and keep this? If he regards the humble his, because the object is, is they're being lifted up. It'll be... Or where I have walked, I'm trying to hook these words together, walked. I walked with many troubles. It's in the middle of my troubles. I don't see that. I don't. Inside. Among. I walked among. I walked in. Walked among. I think among is better. Oops. I walked among our troubled. I guess that's the best I can do, troubled. trying to think I don't see this um, I'm trying to connect this although that's three verses so that would be three verses what have I got up here here I would have to put your promises, just your promise. When they hear your promise. And then this would not be needed. This is how it's just one word that would be being used. Okay, I will give you thanks with all my heart and bow down towards your house as I bow down. Well, how come I didn't get this? 
as I bow down toward your house. For your love and truth, you exalted us according to your words. All kings on earth give thanks to Wivy when they heard your promise, when they hear your promise. Then they will praise you, for great is their glory in you. For through YV, they are lifted up to, I have to add two. He regards the humble his, but the haughty he knows are not his. For I have walked among our troubled. I think that's, that's the three verse, and that's really getting clean here. You will redeem us. I don't know if I need the stretched out hand. You will redeem us against the wrath of our enemies. And your right hand will save us. save us. See, we got something like this. And the word redeemed here is being not revived. You'll forgive us against the wrath of our enemies. And this person would not know Jesus as being their Redeemer or Savior. So you will save us against the wrath of our enemies and your right hand will, oh no, will save me. Will save us. He's talking about us after this part here. I'm seeing you've got to finish up with what you're starting here. Because if they are lifted up too, and he's talking about uh, the humble, because you got to understand there's, when our Creator says to make sure you understand his mercy and compassion, uh, Everyone doesn't know that they're supposed to uh, follow his commandments and, and they couldn't follow uh, his statutes per se, um, but he, he knows that the commandments are what's, what he has defined as sin because you need a sin offering. And this is what he's saying that the rest of the world doesn't know this, but uh, he's taking this in mind. Like those that are humble, they aren't um, murderers. They're not the ones that uh, hate their parents. Uh, they aren't the ones that go around coveting things. Um, this is this how the word humble sums up a lot of them. Um, and when he's talked about here, when they know about the promise, then they'll make him... Uh, their creator as well. So that's what I'm saying is the humble are his. But the proud he knows are not his. Uh, for I have walked among our troubled. For you for you have redeemed us against our enemies. And well, against our, against our enemies. Oops, how'd I get that little thing in there? Oh, it's right next to that key. <laughs> against the wrath of our enemies. Now, now, 
I like that word stuck right there because that's very important. Now your right hand will save us, meaning um, to accomplish what concerns us. This is you have to remember you're talking about his promise. This um, now knowing that you can go to heaven uh, against her. Um, let me uh, ooh, where'd that go? Did I close that out? No, where'd it go? Okay, I must put it down. It scares me. I've got stuff laid out that I'm kind of uh, need to get to real quick such as this text right here and this oh i didn't know that that was not being full screen when i shown it before okay it's like this this is a good one to screenshot and remember um because the red lines tell you that um, all nations on earth will be blessed okay and that's talking about Jesus coming as our king. And it's all, they're all nations are will be blessed because uh, Abraham obeyed our creator. So, and this was talking about wanting to kill his son. And he would have done that. Um, that's a lot of strength to do something like that. So by obeying him, him is, is, very important to know that that's our um, uh, way we enter into heaven now is by obeying our creator uh, i'm gonna have to make that smaller next time so i can uh, don't have to click on it i thought i many people are must uh, must be mad at me when i show that one um for you will redeem will redeem us against yeah this one's out and the other one's in that that's that's better that's better I was way too quick so you out there that were jumping up and down, I caught up with you. Thank you. Um, you will redeem us. For you will stretch. For you will redeem us. By... Stretching forth your hand. Now your hand will save us. Now your hand will bring us to you. And we'll see. I, it has to be to bring you to bring us to him. If he stretched out his hand, now you're right by stretching forth your hand. Now your hand will bring us to you. I'm going to put near in near you because we're in Jesus' kingdom and since I don't know all the answers there <laughs> the way I'm understanding the text um, is that uh, Jesus' kingdom is kind of separate inside heaven so and we are 
his uh, his servants. Okay, Jesus' servants. And I'd have to add for you will accomplish what concerns us. Or why we will accomplish what concerns us. His love is out. His love for us is ever as is. His love is everlasting for us. I'm hoping this will tie with the next. Do not forsake the works of your hand. For you will accomplish what concerns us. His love is everlasting for us. Do not forsake his promises from him. We could put him here and then this like this, like this, of him, from, from him. Do not forsake the promises from him. I'm wondering if the word forsake is like turn away. Um, uh, to collapse, helpless, uh, drop, fail, forsake once. We found that one time that they're using it as forsake. Um, too lazy to leave. All these are ones. Um, do not. I would say disregard. Okay, um, it's it's kind of coming from a word that means sink or relax or abandon, and they got abandon, discourage, um, helpless. Uh, ceases, collapse, discourage, discouraging, draw, drops, fall, limp, feeble, forsake this one time. And a lot of these are only ones or twos. Fail was used five times. And do not forsake. It would be do not. Leave. Leave was used once. But to sink, I guess that would be a very close. Do not leave. His promise. Do not forsake his promise. Do not. Oh, do not abandon. <coughs> Although the word is used as wait once, where it would be wait. For the promises from him. Actually, I can get rid of this word here. 
and this word here and put his here his promises do not abandon his promises I would say leave as well as good as it's as good as abandon Oops, I do that all the time, and it just slows me down here. Oops, not yet. Now I can close it. Boy, how come I can't work my fingers today? I will give you, let me get that cursor out of the way. I will give you thanks with all my heart as I bow down toward your house. For your love and truth, you exalted us according to your words. Okay, let me see this up here. Because of that, it goes here. Do I have another verse that's You exalted us according to yours. You made us bold with strength. Okay, I could do that. That's um eleven. You whoops. Well, let's like this. Made this change. Or say I had it. You made a pole with strength. Us. And then copy this verse and then come down here. Okay, now you know I'm going to clean these up a little bit later, but I think this is you exalted us according to your word, you made us bold with strength. All kings on earth will give thanks to you when they hear you when they hear your promises they will praise you for great is their glory in you for through wivy they are lifted up to regarding the humble is 
but the crowd he knows are not his. For I have walked among our troubled. For you will redeem us by stretching forth your hand. Now your hand brings us near to you. For you will accomplish what concerns us. Concerns needs to be changed up here. Put this out. And then I need to get that on the screen. And you can do a screenshot just like I just did. And a little bit more cleaning up. But I think we've got the intent of the words. Because we are, um, it, this is definitely about Jesus. So, uh, whoops, my error. Whoops, yeah, really. <laughs> um, let me get that up there and let me take another screenshot. Okay, um, uh, that one's good. I think I can call that one done for right now. See you on the next one.